2021 was an unbelievable year for the Hyundai Motor Group, having released a record number of new ICE and electric vehicles alike. The release of the Tucson-based Santa Cruz Sports Adventure vehicle, in particular, will go down the history as Korea's first non-commercial truck outside the domestic Korean market. Also, the Korean auto giant has earned all kinds of accolades for introducing the company's very first dedicated electric vehicle, built from scratch based on its newly developed eGMP EV platform. The state-of-the-art 800V eGMP based Ionic 5 and the Kia EV6 have helped the Korean company to garner various awards, including German Car of the Year and Top Gears Manufacturer of the Year. If 2021 signaled the awakening of the Hyundai Group as an EV powerhouse, 2022 is to be the first year in which the number of electrified models is to outnumber the ICE products. In this part 2 of the series and the coverage of all new Hyundai, Kia and Genesis models being released in 2022, we expose more product information with a focus on the products destined for North America, Europe and Australia. So, before we go on, we'd highly appreciate your support by subscribing and turning on the notification bell, if you haven't already. And please don't forget to like, comment, and vote on the question that's presented at the end of the video. Kia Celta's Facelift, July 2022 Release Believe it or not, the rarely talked about Kia Celta's is one of the best-selling compact crossovers in the world. Marketed as a premium compact SUV, which is an odd space in the automotive classification realm, it enjoys great success in markets like native Korea and India. Even in the States, Kia's small crossover SUV saw a growth of 30% in sales despite the pandemic, which is second highest growth of all sports utility vehicles from Kia after the ever popular Telluride. The popularity is due to a traditional SUV profile that mimics the styling of the larger Telluride, upscale details, quality interior, large for its size passenger and cargo space, and fuel economy. In fact, Cars.com ranks Celtos in the number one spot for the most popular SUV crossover, indicating that 94% of owners recommend the car, with a 4.7 out of 5.0 reliability rating. No wonder Kia saw it fit to develop the EV4 as a top priority, after the successful introduction of the EV6. The EV4, a dedicated electric vehicle based on the advanced eGMP platform, will essentially be a smaller version of the EV6 with the dimension, and the SUV styling inspiration of Celtos. Likely to be an eventual replacement for Celtos, the EV4 should be available for sale in 2023. However, until then, Kia is implementing an upgrade to the existing Celtos. First introduced in 2019, it's also hard to believe that 2022 marks the fourth year of production for the small SUV, which still looks trendy and premium. For the revision, it's hinted that Kia is freshening up the design by giving it the Sportage treatment, with the boomerang-shaped lighting signature, which was initially heavily criticized, but finding places in people's hearts and being accepted as the iconic look of the Korean brand, which has seen tremendous growth in sales due to its successful lineup of SUVs. Aside from the aesthetics, another major change is in the powertrain. It's confirmed that Kia will discontinue the 1.6-liter diesel engine, due to a drastic fall in popularity, with the consumer's preference towards hybrid and electric vehicles. In its place, Kia will introduce a hybrid power plant with the same displacement. However, it won't be the latest turbocharged SmartStream power plant from the larger Sportage in Tucson, but rather a non-turbo version borrowed from the current Hyundai Kona, which pumps out 139 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. The revised Kia Seltos will make its introduction in July 2022. Hyundai Palisade Facelift, May 2022 Release Hyundai Palisade is another tremendously popular Hyundai SUV model that will undergo revision in 2022. First introduced in 2019, although late to the three-row SUV game compared to the competitors, the first bona fide large SUV of the brand, Palisade gave Hyundai a tremendous lift in the sales and the image of the company. The Palisade and the Kia counterpart Telluride became an instant success, and being in constant short supply, they are known to be fetching price premiums at the dealerships. As a side note, Hyundai and the labor union in Korea, finally agreed to increase the production of Palisade by additional 20,000 units per year to resolve the chronic supply problem. The Korean labor union at the Ulsan factory where Palisade is built, first refused to build additional units over the inevitability that it would lose the popular Staria minivan production to another factory in Korea by taking on more Palisade production, but they finally caved in, fearing that the assembly line could move to the US plant in Montgomery, Alabama altogether. The US-produced Telluride will not be inflicted with the union issue and is expected to see increased production as well. 
The 2022 production Palisade will now feature a new design and other significant upgrades from the current model, which still looks fantastic and imposing as it did four years ago. Just like Kia's compact Sportage is influencing the design of the new Seltos, its Hyundai counterpart, the all-new Tucson's design concept will take the center stage in Palisade's new appearance. Known as a parametric jewel hidden lamp, the unique disappearing headlamp, and the waterfall grille will now be the look that defines the Hyundai's large SUV. As innovative and striking as it was in Tucson, we are not certain if it's an improvement for the larger Palisade. However, the newly designed interior that's expected to offer a quintessential panoramic screen, comprised of dual 12.5-inch LCDs much like other new Hyundai Group products like Ionic 5 and Kia EV6, is definitely a huge improvement over the current 10.25-inch screen. Also improved is the power plant, as the Palisade's current somewhat archaic 3.8-liter V6 unit will be replaced with a new 3.5-liter SmartStream V6 engine, which is cleaner and more efficient, providing virtually the same power at 290 horsepower. The production of the new Palisade begins in May 2022. FYI, the platform sharing Kia Telluride is also up for renewal, and follow Palisade within a year. Hyundai Ioniq 6, May 2022 release. Ioniq 6 is undoubtedly the most highly anticipated new model to be released in 2022. The first ever built from the ground up sedan based on the eGMP platform that also underpins phenomenal Ioniq 5 and the EV6, the Ioniq 6 is also expected to be one of the best EVs in the market. Featuring 800 volt charging architecture that can recharge to 80% in just 18 minutes, and an efficient power electric system that includes single motor rear wheel drive with 225 horsepower, and dual motor all wheel drive with 320 horsepower. When combined with the Ionic 5 sourced 77.4 kilowatt hours battery, the fastback is to deliver in excess of 311 miles or 500 kilometers in range, which is actually longer than that of the current Ionic 5 or the EV6 with the improvement in the efficiency that it is to receive as part of the unusual pre-launch revisions, which pushed back the launch date by a few months from the original release date in February 2022. In addition to being the first Hyundai EV to receive the innovative lighting grille that acts as a charge status indicator in an emergency message board through the pre-production revision, it is also to receive an improvement in the styling that is met with some heavy criticism when the prototype was first exposed. Contrary to the expectation that the new Ionic 6 sedan would inherit the design of the stunning prophecy concept, the austere prototype didn't quite capture the concept car's allure. Hyundai will attempt to bring back some of the excitement of the concept by tweaking the front and rear end, lengthening the vehicle by 6 inches or 90 millimeters to the length of 196 inches or 4,990 millimeters, which is as long as the Genesis G80 sedan. As the rest of the body will remain unchanged, we are not certain how effective the revision may be, but in defense of the designers and engineers that created the Ionic 6, the sedan was developed to eventually replace the Sonata family sedan and not a four-door sports car to compete with the Porsche Taycan and the Audi e-tron GT. If you are looking for Porsche Taycan and Audi e-tron GT kind of excitement, Hyundai has you covered as well. Kia EV6 GT, October 2022 release. The year 2022 will be the first year in which the Korean maker is to have its first legitimate supercar. Based on the standard EV6, which is still plenty fast with 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 5.1 seconds, powered by a dual motor 320 horsepower driving all four wheels, the GT version will nearly double the output and offer 577 horsepower and 546 pound feet of torque, the most ever seen in a Korean production car, and offer supercar like performance, capable of achieving 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 3.5 seconds. Yet its EV credential is still impressive, as it delivers a range of 250 miles or 400 kilometers from its 77.4 kilowatt hours battery. Furthermore, it still maintains all of the innovative eGMP features such as 18 minutes to 80% ultra-fast charge time, V2L that supplies 3.5 kilowatts of electricity, and more. The EV6 GT accomplishes all this while maintaining a relatively sane price of 72 million Korean won, which translates to about 60,000 US dollars. If the low-slung crossover styling is not to your liking, there will also be the Ionic 5 equivalent. The Ionic 5N will offer similar gut-wrenching performance and specifications, with Hyundai and Division's interpretation of what an electric hot hatch should be. As opposed to the more premium and plushier presentation of the EV6 GT, look for more edgy and hardcore characteristics with trick performance features that you come to expect from an N-Car. 
The production date for the EV6 GT is October 2022, but the supply is expected to be even slimmer than the standard version, which already has a waiting list mile long with a waiting of up to one year. So, we suggest for you to put in your order early, if asphalt tearing performance in an EV is what you're looking for. This concludes part 2 of the upcoming new model release dates for 2022. Be on the lookout for the 2023 preview, which promises to be an even busier year. Also, don't forget to check out part 1 of the series. As for the end of the video question, which of the models covered in this video appeals to you the most? Please vote and share your views by clicking on the link in the comment section below. Thanks for watching AutoVision, your best source for the fastest Korean car news and rumors. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, don't forget to join our forum and share your passion for Korean cars at koreancarnews.com. See you next time with the latest Korean car news. Trying to go the other